You are finally waking up then. Good. Don't panic. You don't need to be afraid. Where are you? You are higher up now than when you started. How interesting that a human would attempt to climb my mountain. Yes, I said my mountain. Why is that what you are focusing on? Were you not just frightened, wondering where you were? How you went from so suddenly being surrounded by trees to laying on your back and a fire lit at your side. Do you not understand what's going on? Tell me what you remember. Yes. You encountered a great beast on your way up this mountain. It stalked you. From the flatlands to the summit. Did you think it was a monster, in truth? It's not. And it never was. The beast that followed you was one of mine. I was curious as to what a human would be doing, why a human would be attempting to climb my mountain. So I sent a friend to follow you, and follow you he did. He was not attacking you. Once he realized that you truly intended to climb my mountain, he tried to stop you. I doubt you could comprehend why. Did you think this journey was easy? No, child. The struggles that you faced on your way here were nothing compared to what you would have faced had you met me in my throne room. Yes, I am the goddess of the outworlds, the being of the beyond, the entity that brings you all to your ends, whatever a grandizing title you have given me in this century. I have heard them all, and I care for none. I am Death. Pleasure to meet you. Hmm. Normally, humans would bow, prostrate themselves before me, beg me not to take them to my domain. But you, you are simply watching me. That's novel, unexpected. For you to have attempted to climb my mountain, to enter my domain, I wonder then, what did you want from me? Hmm. An audience? Well, you've got one. I'm before you. Huh. Are you dead? Now there is a question you should have asked from the beginning. Honestly, I'm surprised that it took you this long. 
But to answer your question, no, child, you are not dead. In spite of yourself, you are alive. Congratulations. You would have died had he touched you, had that great beast's head slammed into your chest, had he even brushed your skin, you would have perished. Because he is one of mine, and an entity of death coming into contact with an animal of life. <laughs> Your life would have come to an end quite abruptly. Instead, you fell. You fell and I was brought to you, rather insistently by that friend of mine. I think he likes you. I think he found your tenacity endearing. Well done. Why did he bring me? To keep you from dying. If you died, you would have entered my domain all the same. But... It wasn't your time. In his opinion, at least. I believe that the time one has becomes my choice when they get so close to my house. But, as I said, he is my friend, so I listened. And you are closer to my house, closer to my domain. Was that what you wanted to see? If you wanted connection to the beyond, you simply could have gone to a temple. I have plenty. Hmm. You want something. <laughs> you mortals always want for something. Do you want me to turn my gaze from you? Grant you immortality. Grant you a place at my side. Turn you into a beast like my friend. To guard me for time beyond comprehension. Company. You. A living, breathing, transient mortal wanted to offer the goddess of death company <laughs> oh, mind your audacity I do not want for kindness or comfort I have plenty of it and I have plenty of company when you and all of your mortal Creations, companions, pets. When they all die, they come to me. Honestly, I have more company than I care to deal with. Do not speak to me in falsehoods. What did you want from me? I noticed the lifting of your head when I mentioned how your companions come to my side. Is there a friend you are hoping to have return to you? A mother? A father? A lover? Not a companion that walks so tall, then. 
What you seek is a pet, a companion more valuable than any human could ever be. Hmm. Then, why did you resist him? <laughs> I understand now why that beast was so fond of you. Yes, human. That beast that you believe attacked you. <laughs> was the very one you sought. But I told you, human. Contact with an entity of the dead will make you dead. You cannot take him with you in the form that he takes now. You don't care. Hmm. I'll tell you what, human. I find your determination to have your previous companion return to you admirable. In exchange for, hmm, well, you offered your company. In exchange for your company in my house, I will allow your friend more time than he had received before. I cannot make him immortal. Well, I can, but I won't. Because, human, you are mortal. And if he is immortal, he will live without you. And if he lives forever, he will not return to my side, which is something I cannot allow. I'm quite fond of him, you see. I will summon you three times. Each of these times, when you come to my domain, you will entertain me in whatever matter I see fit. If I am satisfied with your offered company, I will allow you to return to your home with your beloved companion back at your side. Is this agreeable? Good. Go back to your village now, human, and I will summon you the next time I want for company.